Hello everyone, welcome to our PAL World Survival Guide, the first uh, of many guides to come. Very exciting, this game has been so much fun, so I'm very much looking forward to everybody who has, you know, uh, bought the game and, and uh, taken the first plunge in to see what it's all about. Uh, but speaking of uh, beginners, uh, the first, I would say probably the first few guides here that I'll be doing uh, is very much geared towards uh, those just entering the game who might be wondering, you know, what they should be doing, uh, what they should be focusing on to make their initial uh, first few days in Pell World, you know, the most uh, efficient, the most uh, successful, I suppose. So with that in mind, uh, the first guide that I really wanted to kind of bring to everybody was the best starter pals because it's really easy. I know, especially uh, with me, <laughs> it was for me anyway, with just how adorable all these guys looked. I just wanted to tame everything. Uh, but, you know, it's not a bad idea to perhaps yeah, go and to aim for certain ones first just to get kind of like your uh, your basic needs taken care of. And then you can go ahead and, and splurge from there. So let's take a look at like the best starter pals. Uh, and um, these are, you know, uh, oh, my bandwagon and fangirls. What is that? What does that even mean? Well, we'll get into that, I guess, right after this uh, interruption, because apparently bandwagon fangirls are after me. I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't really get that, but here you go, big guy. Come and help. Oh, it's... Oh, it's the questionable Pokemon. Not Pokemon, but pal. Let's be real. Uh, that's, um, that's interesting. No, 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 no. Oh, she's out. See if we can't. Let's see. Oh, too fast. I'm too slow. Whatever. All right. Well, that was uh, interesting. I don't recommend that one. <laughs> Just FYI. I mean, you can if you want. I find them a little um, uncomfortable. But anyway, uh, let's uh, actually get into this now. So the best starter pals. Uh, I always think that. Um, one of the very first that you should get, and it's a little bit, it's a little bit tough. It's like if it's your, if it's your first pal, but uh, the Fox Sparks, uh, which is you come out here. What are you doing work for? Uh, this adorable creature right here. This one's named Faye, uh, and I find them uh, pretty decent for like early game defense. They have like a fire attack. Uh, they have a decent amount of health too, and they're pretty quick when it comes to like fighting. So. Um, you, and you guys can you can encounter these like right at the beginning uh, arena area uh, region if you will and um, so they're easy to uh, early easy to encounter early they're kind of easy to take down like you'll you'll probably die a few times maybe until you kind of get used to like dodging and, and all that but I definitely think having you know one or two of these guys uh, around is definitely good just to, to keep you safe from the more aggressive pals that are out there but also to defend your base just early on um so you know uh fox sparks great now the other kind of like main thing that they are particularly good for uh which i think is very very helpful is they can actually like uh heat up your food uh cook for you really uh and that's important because you know you have to stay fed and your pals have to stay fed too otherwise you know they get sick and then they can't work and all that so uh, they they uh, um, speed up cooking. Let's see if I have anything here for them to cook. Yeah, there we go. So you can kind of see on its own, very, very slow. But as soon as our friend gets going, you can see how fast that goes. Uh, so that just really uh, increases, you know, the food supply and makes sure that everybody has all the food they need. So Foxbox, uh, definitely one of, like, the first starter pets uh, pals that you should... Um, that you should grab if you can anyway uh now uh i do also <laughs> i also recommend uh the lamb ball and the game will actually push you to uh capture a lamb ball that's this adorable creature right here again you will find these in the starter region as well and the lamb ball is very much kind of like uh it's like for those who have played arc it's like the dodo of arc if you will it's like the level one the very basic pal out there but i actually find it pretty helpful uh and i i, I would recommend that because it's so easy to capture as well i say like why not use it you know what i mean uh but it's pretty it's, it's it's very helpful for like just taking care of like the basic tasks of your base initially it's a gatherer it's a, it helps you like build stuff and because it's so easy to get you know it's just kind of like 
you know, why not get it and help yourself out at your base and stuff? Um, now, when you build a ranch, it becomes a little bit more useful because it will come over here and it'll shed all this wool, which you can then turn into cloth and you can make that, you know, into other things too. So it does have a purpose outside of just carrying a bunch of stuff and helping you build stuff. But because it's just so easy to capture, I have to say, like, that, that, that makes the list just because it's like, it's going to take care of, it's going to be like your personal assistant, really, at the very start of the game. Uh, so outside of that one, uh, we have our uh, penguinette over here, pangolet. What is it actually called? <laughs> I should probably get the names properly said here. Yes, pengolet, uh, right here. And I love the pengolet for, I mean, for, particularly for this purpose here. Once you get into farming, uh, which is very early on in the game, uh, you're going to need to water it, but watering takes so long. So having a pengolet here, uh, you can see that it waters the, your, uh, your, all your various plantations for you and what i like about the pengillet versus maybe perhaps some of the other water pals that are out there is that it's also a snow elemental uh, it's like it's like water and snow so it can like it's like it's it has two bases covered if you will so if your base gets like um attacked by something uh, the fact that this that your pengillet has like two elements to it you know it's going to be strong against two different types of enemies so i find that very helpful in terms of like base defense as well but really like just in terms of like utility great for watering like your farm and you know you're gonna want to have a farm just because you're gonna <laughs> depending on how many pals you have out you know they all need to eat so getting your your farm going as quickly as you can just to make sure that nobody's starving is including yourself is just you know that's ideal now the uh next one i don't know if i have this one out i think i do yes over there are or, oh, there, that's running right there. Our chicken friend here, the chick, chicka, chicka, picky, chicky, chicka pee. Chicka pee, that's the name, goodness gracious. Uh, this is another, like, very, like, very, very, like, on the same level as, like, the land belt in terms of, like, ease of capturing and defeating and whatnot. It's, like, a level one pal, let's be honest. But uh, if this guy really won't do much in terms of, like, helping your, your base or anything. But I think it's still worth uh, having as uh, one of your starter pals. Uh, because um, it actually like passively drops eggs, so uh, you you don't have to worry too much about food. Like those those uh, eggs that I was cooking in the in the fire over here, that wasn't me like going out and getting them. That's just the chicken friend over there, the chicken pal, uh, just laying them passively. So I have like this this uh, passive egg layer. Which just means, you know, I have like all like, like already they've they've they it's laid like four eggs already, uh, since I you know told our little fox box friend to, to cook these eggs, and you can see that we already have like thirty six here, which means you know, and this is for those guys, but I could take it and eat it myself, which I probably will because there's a, a good amount in there, uh, but again that's just like another way to make sure that your food supply is taken care of. That's like you don't have to worry about it at all. It's just it's done. So uh, I I kind of like the 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 chippy for uh, chicky pee for that. Uh, purpose. Now the other one, which I don't think I have out, I can pull it out real fast, is the Vixie. Let's go ahead. She could be go take a break. Let's bring out our Vixie friend. Love that. Now the Vixie, uh, they are they're also kind of like a, a, a helper out there, but they also do this really cool thing where uh, they will kind of like walk around your base and if they find something interesting they'll dig it up and they'll give it to you and the things that they can find i mean it, it runs the gambit sometimes they'll get like uh, gold coins sometimes they'll get like ammo it's like it's it's completely random and uh they'll give it to you and that's amazing because you could have uh this this little this little uh, adorable fox like uh creature uh going out and like making you money really if you think about it just by like walking around your base now obviously uh she also goes in the ranch which means she's making uh cloth and whatnot or wool and whatnot as well Oh, look at that. What did you find for us? Oh, uh, arrow. She found an arrow for us. So, like, you know, she's just doing her thing out there. Uh, now, uh, I think also, I think if I go to the pal deck, her little um, description's really funny to me, too. It says, the idol of Pelagos Island. If you bully a Vixie, you best be prepared to become enemies with the whole world. So, clearly, there's some, the developer, clearly, whoever designed this, had a lot of love for the Vixie as well, which, you know, I, I feel that. Um, but in terms of, like, use, uh, she does gather, and she does farm as well, so, like, she's doing all that, too, besides, the gathering kind of has to do with, like, her digging holes and finding stuff for you, 
Um, so that's very helpful. And just to kind of like uh, backtrack a little bit, if you guys wanted to see like what else all these guys are good, like handiwork. So that means our little guy over here is kind of like helping you build certain structures. The transporting, they'll like if they'll find like a rock or something on the ground, they'll bring it to your chest. And then farming, he'll help. They'll they'll help out at the farming. Uh, the chickpea is also a gatherer so like when your farming plot has berries in it or whatever they'll go to the plot pick up the berries and put it in uh the, the chest as well as like a bunch of other things too as long uh, as well as like obviously takes care of the farming uh the fox box just does kindling so literally it's just like it's there to cook your food but also because uh, i just uh made this they also uh do your your little furnace stuff the like smelt uh, your ore into ingots, so that's very helpful as well. Anything to do with, like, kindling, basically, that's their game. The penguin, there we are. Uh, he is also going to help you do your building. He'll transport stuff. He's a waterer, and he can cool stuff, too, which is, again, why I love the, the pangolet, because it can, it, it, it adds, like, two different, um, it covers two different bases, really. Anything to do with watering, and then anything to do with culling. Cool, culling? Culling. Cooling. That's the. That is how we say words. Um, so that's like. But we've got so much uh, so far for that. Now the uh, sixth starter pet that I recommend is the gun boss. So I'm not quite sure. Oh, he's over there. Uh, this is again another uh, pal that you will find early on in the uh, the starter region. They don't move very fast. They look like that. They got their little tongue hanging out. They're like, what's up? And uh, if you look at this guy, here we go. Uh, it is a, a plant type pal. It's good at planting. That's primarily like what it does. So basically what this means is that it will take your berry seeds and then put them in the actual plots and they will plant it for you because there's like two different like, well, I guess there's be like three different parts of your farm, which is planting, watering, and then harvesting. So he takes care of all the planting. He's, I guess he's going to go cool in the, in the water over there. Um, so that's pretty great for that. Uh, and, uh, and again, like that's, that, that's just because farming is something important that you should, that you should, you know, probably focus on early on just to make sure that your food supply is a plus. Now the rush boar is our seventh starter pet. He's over here. Uh, and this is kind of like uh, your early game miner, if you will. Like once you put like this uh, stone uh, mining thing down, he'll just come over here and start just passively getting stone. You can see I've got 500 in here already that he's been doing just on his own, which is amazing. And if we look at the, his little entry here, we can see he's uh, good at mining, a level one miner, if you will. So like, again, this is all starter stuff. So obviously there's there's other pals out there who will be better at this moving on but just for starters he's pretty good and uh th he's a ground type as well and he has like this really fun kind of charge uh attack so like he's pretty decent at uh your uh, keeping your base safe as well um i tend to like to i like to have um him a few of these on hand just to kind of help push some of the uh other enemies you know away from me or whatever and then i could throw in some other guy uh, to to uh, take care of him from there, and I'll just add as well that because he's a ground type, it might not be a bad idea to have a few of a few of the uh, the boar uh, pals uh, with you because the first uh, spoilers if you don't want to know what like the tower leaders are like what types they are so like briefly pause right here um, or skip over rather, but uh, the uh, the first leader here in this tower is an electric type and ground is pretty strong against that so like having a few of these as your starter pets your starter pals uh could potentially help you because you can level them up or you know during the, while you're doing your your stuff you're expanding your base and then they'll be ready to go and try to uh fight that uh leader over there so there you go spoilers over i'll i'll chapter that so <laughs> you guys can can skip past that um now besides the uh the rush bore there's also uh, these absolutely beautiful deer out there uh, called the Exeer deer, something like that. And we'll pull that out so you can see what that looks like as well. It's these beautiful, I just love them, they're so pretty. Uh, this one's a little tired, so I have to let them rest for a little bit. But uh, they are uh, a, a pretty decent, uh, they're a little bit harder to get. Like I would say like if you're gonna, if you're gonna go like rank these in terms of like difficulty this is definitely like one of the tougher ones they have like a bunch of different moves that they can do 
uh, which makes them uh, uh, pretty formidable, at least in terms of taming. It is a neutral type too, so like not a lot of stuff is 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 effective against it. Dark types are, I believe. I think it's dark type. Uh, so like it's not the hard, it's not the easiest thing to take these guys down enough for you to then. Um, capture it but you can see it is a lumbering uh level two so it's a little bit better than some of the other starter tames in terms of lumbering and what that means is basically what it's doing right now is that uh it, it'll just bang its head against these trees and make a lot of wood and most of that wood has been from this guy here uh they're very hard workers i will say that apparently my guy is hungry so hold it quick a little bit of food there we go uh so i love that for them um and that'll just take care of really like all your wood needs while your little your boar here is taking care of your stone needs, but this guy is taking care of all your wood needs. So you're you're not going to be low on stone and wood if you got those guys uh, working those different uh, uh, stations, if you will. Right, you can go back in here, man. You need to rest. Uh, so um, the other kind of uh, critters out there, uh, the malpaca is another kind of starter. Uh, pal and i'm kind of basing this off up to like level 10 i feel like after level 10 you start to get to more into the like advanced pals and the advanced crafting stations and gear and stuff so the malpaca is still uh just i think it's still just below level 10 in terms of like its saddle and the reason why i have it on this list is because i think the malpaca is actually a pretty decent first mount uh until you maybe get like maybe like a dire howl later on when you're a little bit more advanced but the melpaca i think is a really good first mount um it's it's got a pretty strong kick so it can defend itself pretty well a uh, decent amount of health it can move pretty quickly as well and if we look at its pal deck there you are we can see it's probably just good at farming so it's another like a uh, farmer helper if you will um so like oops that's um it's pretty decent like i said it's more for like for those who don't want to be running around anymore your malpalka is going to be like your starter mount basically all right and that one can go away as well and then the last number 10 starter pet uh that i think is is kind of worse uh, worth uh focusing on is the uh limb monk limb monk right is that what i'm saying that right i'm learning these names you'll have to excuse me where are you? There you are. Yes, the Lift Monk. That's the one. And that's because if you look at this, it's so good at so many things. It's good at planting, handiwork, lumbering, uh, medicine production, gathering. Uh, and if you read the little thing here, it says it's intelligent as a five to seven year old human child. It makes a wonderful partner, but there have been more than a few cases where they've killed their master after learning to use weapons. So I'm never giving this pal uh, weapons. Where are you? Are they all sleeping? Are you all going to bed? Is that what you're doing right now? Maybe? No, they're still working. Okay. Um, and, oh, there you are. I was wondering where you were. Let's uh, get the light out so you can actually look at ya. Uh, there's, like, these little things. They're adorable. Um, and, uh, like I said, they, they, have, they do so much. Never giving her a gun, though. Like, I do not trust her with a gun because I don't want you to turn against me, all right? Uh, <laughs> but she just goes and does, like, so much stuff. So I feel like just ha if you want, like, a really good catch-all kind of pal... Uh, the, uh, Lift Monk is the one, perhaps, to focus on. Just don't give them guns. And that's about it, really. But that's about it for our list of starter pals. Um, some of them might be kind of obvious, because they're all, like, in the starter region. But you might not perhaps realize, you know, the full extent of, of how to use them, or in what capacity, and what they do, and all that. Uh, but hopefully you found a few that perhaps you didn't think about bef uh, before. But otherwise, um... Let me know what your favorite starter pals are. Uh, and again, like I geared this more towards like level 1 to 10. Obviously, there are better pals out there as you advance. But this is just for, you know, the, the early days of the game. Everybody's going to bed in their little house that I made for them. <laughs> Adorable. All the, all the babies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just let me know what your uh, preferred starter pals is. I'd love to know as well. Uh, but until next time... Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.